Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows a case of localization of the inflamed appendix. Most often healthcare professions suspect the diagnosis of appendicitis based on the symptoms, medical history, physical exam and physical examination. A doctor can confirm the diagnosis with an, ult an ultrasound X-ray or MRI scan. You can see the ascending colon and a lymph node is seen and an enlarged lymph node is seen in the adjacent area of this cecum and this lymph node measures about 19 millimeter into 7.5 millimeter. Sonographic criteria for the diagnosis of appendicitis include a non-compressible blind-ended aperistaltic tubular structure in right lower quadrant arising from the base of the cecum. The appearance of this inflamed appendix is hyperechoic with an echopore abscess surrounding the appendix. There may be a reflective momentum around the appendix, a thickened bowel and enlarged lymph node as you can uh, see in this case. Asymmetrical wall thickening may indicate the perforation of the appendix. Now you can see another lymph node seen in the adjacent area of the cecum in the omentum. An ultrasound examination is performed to evaluate for appendicitis. Graded compression ultrasound of the right lower quadrant will reveal a non-compressible enlarged appendix. If the bowel wall layers, particularly the ecogenic submucosa is lost, it is suggestive of perforation. Now you can see another lymph node near the cecum and the omentum. The appendix is a small pouch lies like sac of tissue that is located in the first part of the colon that is called cecum in the lower right abdomen. Now you can see the inflamed appendix. Lymphatic tissue in the appendix aids in immune functions. The official name of the appendix is vermiform appendix which means the worm like appendages. The appendix harbors bacteria. Now this is a case where the patient is experiencing severe pain in the right iliac fossa. When acute appendicitis is suspected, you can scan the patient lying supine if suspect. I, I selected a high power that is from 7 to 11 mega transducer. You may put a pillow under both knees to have the abdomen of the patient relaxed. Now you can see the inflamed appendix. You will search a blind under tubular structure arising from the cecum. First of all, we will identify the ascending column. Then one has to see scan inferiorly to localize the cecum. And then one can see the appendix. The column will have the osta well which, which will differentiate it from the small bowl. You can see the osta in the long axis view. Now you will scan cordially to reach the inferior end of the cecum. Now you will have to sweep the probe to do the examination in the transverse plane or axial plane also called the horizontal plane or transaxial plane. The position of the appendix is variable from patient to patient. So you will have to look around the area of the cecum to localize the appendix. Now you can see the inflammatory fluid seen in the adjacent area of the inflamed appendix. The position of the appendix is variable. 
so well so you will have to look around the cecum to localize the appendix the localization of sars muscle is also important as the appendix is often seen overlying it again you can see the enlarged and inflamed appendix the localization of sars muscle will help to localize the appendix now you will have to to start by applying gentle pressure then applying firmer pressure to displace the bowel to avoid bowel gases as the bowel loops are inflamed they are fixed without peristaltic movement most often tenderness can help to localize the appendix the appendix is seen on a cross sectional scan as a concentric circle you can see the inner lumen is hypoechogenic with hyper echogenic edema surrounding it now if you scan in the long axis the appendix will appear in the tube tubular form with the same pattern inflammation may occur when appendix becomes infected or blocked with stool foreign objects or a tumor tumor is very rare of course now you can see the whole length of the appendix inflamed appendix appendicitis is a condition in which the appendix becomes inflamed swollen or infected causing pain in the right lower side of the lower abdomen ultrasound can identify the enlarged append appendix or an abscess it is said that during appendicitis an enlarged inflamed appendix or abscess can be seen in only 50% of the patient but the expert in the sonography think that it may be the ratio may be further in the expert hands it is not easy to localize the appendix but once you practice it it becomes much easier an ultrasound is a painless procedure that uses sound waves to provide images to identify organs within the body ultrasound can identify the enlarged appendix or abscess nevertheless during appendix appendicitis and in large inflamed appendix or abscess can be seen as you can see in this case on the right side of this picture you can see the appendix is seen on the cross sectional scan as concentric circle but on the left hand side of the picture you can see the whole length of the appendix by using a high frequency high linear probe you can see the tubular structure in the right iliac fossa surrounded by hypoechoic rim this is the transverse view on the left side of this picture now by sweeping the probe you can see the longitudinal view of the tubular structure bowel walls are thin both ends of the tubular structure are blunt by applying some pressure with the probe you can see this structure is not compressible it doesn't collapse a significant mucus and debris are seen in its interior You can find some important information in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. If you do like this video, please click the like button. Thanks.